we are at the Odd Fellows Mystery Mansion, located in the middle of nowhere, Pennsylvania. Holy shit, dude, this place is huge. It's dark up here. Dude, there's, there is some energy in this freaking building. Something just broke the light. Why are you so evil? That's my f***ing red pot beer. I'm in here. Get you. What's going on guys? Kalani Ghost Hunter here, and we are here with Paranormal Files. Colin, I will drop his links below. But we have a very, very special treat for you tonight. We are at the Odd Fellows Mystery Mansion, located in the middle of nowhere, Pennsylvania. Now, first thoughts, Colin, what do you think about this place off of our just brief walk? Very strange energy in here. Hard to tell how it feels, but the thing that's in the back of my mind is the fact that Odd Fellows are a secret society. Um, there's a lot of things that still the public doesn't know about Odd Fellows, or the Odd Fellows and uh, the rituals that they do, so who knows exactly what was happening in here. And it's kind of a known fact that when a place, I know you mentioned that this was a Christian, uh, what was it? It was a Bible college. A Bible college. Whenever those places become abandoned, oftentimes people who engage in dark magic, witchcraft, stuff like that, they kind of flock to those places that were once considered holy, if you are religious, to perform rituals and stuff like that. So. We've already walked through here and seen stuff that I've, I've noted that could be evidence of rituals. When we pass by it later, I can point it out, but who knows? It is, like you said, it's a mystery, and but it does feel very, very heavy in here. Um, regardless of if it's good heavy, like kids energy. There's, there's energy oh, regardless. Yeah, yeah it's, it's just I, It's kind of hard to determine yet what it could be, but even for my interactions when we went to the Saginaw Museum and we had the ritual robe from the Odd Fellows. There was activity happening right around that robe. So we've essentially taken that robe and gone to the place where those rituals could have been happening. So we don't really know what we're in for tonight. There's four of us in a wide range of space that we have to cover here tonight. I'm, I was even creeped out by the pool. I've never been creeped out by a pool in my life, but the pool was, was pretty spooky. And uh, just some of the history here makes you really wonder what was going on in these walls. So guys, Hold up, I'm gonna add one more thing too that I just thought of. Orphanages, they oftentimes historically would cover up the bad things that would happen here. Yeah. It's a known thing that abuse, deaths, stuff like that, like the one that we investigated in Gettysburg, they don't talk about that stuff. Well, and even when, when we talk to a few of the people about the history of this place, they don't want any kind of history associated with anything bad here. Like this video may ruffle some feathers and, and that's, kind of what we're in the business of doing in terms of exposing and pulling back some of those onion layers of history. So I'm excited to see what we find tonight and kind of see how that matches up with the perceived history or what the history could actually be. So we are gonna jump into it tonight, folks, and we're gonna really see what there is here, good, bad, and ugly. So make sure you guys stay tuned and make sure you subscribe to both of us, turn on those notifications, and we will see you guys after we go to Texas Roadhouse. <laughs> Steak time, baby. Talking. We Literally the moment out. we walked out of the building, my pelican case gets pushed off. That's that's bizarre. Did After we started talking about... Break? No, that's just a piece of my... Wow. I'm glad it was closed. Honestly. <laughs> that is very strange, man. Looks like the start to a good night. Or a bad one. Honestly, we something like see. literally coming on pushed it off. Come on. That's a lot of energy to move that case. That's, I mean, that's like really strange that that just happened. And it's, well, to me, paranormal wise, it's, it's not always um, what happens, it's the timing of things, you know? Like if that would have happened when we were sitting out here, it would be weird still, but it's like. The moment we got done inside, that we were walking out, like yeah. I had taken a step out the door, and then I just watched the case get pushed to right there. And was that on top of it? Yeah, that was just sitting on top. So that also shows that it didn't just slide off. It literally went yeah, like from I don't, under. I don't know, that, that's weird. Look at all this old stuff. What's up with the fucking Chinese warrior, dude? Look at all these lamps. That baby carriage. That's kind of creepy, actually. <laughs> that's a nice baby carriage. A shame if I stole it. Okay, so we're here. 
in the center of the orphanage right now. And I just want to address anybody who may be here in this building, whether you are a child, whether you're an adult, or maybe if you're not a human at all, you're some other form of energy. We invite you all to come out and speak with us tonight. I know nobody has ever come to try talk to you, but we're here to tell your story. So if something terrible happened to you, you can feel safe telling us about it tonight. I'm just gonna introduce myself. My name is Colin, I'm here with my friends. I'm Connor. I'm Kalani. I'm Savannah. Um, we have some toys set up. If you see down there, there are some toys in the hallway. There's also music box. Yeah, there's also a toy down there. So if there's anybody here with us, can you walk towards our voices? You can come out of your rooms. It's OK. Now is your opportunity to speak with us. So I have a feeling that in your life you were told what to do and how to do it. So now is your time to tell us how you really feel. If you can hear our voices, can you make a loud noise somewhere in this building? What was that not? I heard something outside. Was that a car door? Okay. I didn't sound like a car. It didn't? No. You can come on inside if you're out, outside. You're free to come in. I just heard something in here. Me too, I heard that. In there? Yeah. I heard something. Are you down here? At the end of this hallway? It's okay, buddy. You can come out. I just heard something again. I heard creaking. Yeah. What was that? Well, remember, this would have been the original front entrance. I definitely heard something in here. It would have been that well. that right there. So this right here would have been the original porch. Did you hear that? What was that? What? That what was that was like a growl or something. It's a noise. And I'm hearing something like it's like a buzzing. I heard like Savannah heard it too. It was like a Yeah. Like it didn't sound like an animal though. Uh uh. But it didn't wow. sound like human either. No, yeah. Okay, let's let's think about something really quick here. So when we did our initial intro for my video before we ever left to go eat dinner, what happened the moment we walked out that door? Pelican case gets pushed. And then they just heard a growl. So I wonder if there's something here that's that's not happy that we're here. That's the vibe that I'm getting right now. Yeah, me that too. something is like angry. It's like it's like it's really weird because you'd think kids spirits are I don't like think it's a kid. happy. No, it's something that's like I don't feel welcome in this building whatsoever. No, I feel a really bad, anxious feeling. For sure. Yeah, anxiety like. Yeah, my chest is tight. Okay, what if we did this? What if you two stay down here with the equipment, with these cameras, and then I roll with Connor up to the next floor, and we just sit quietly for just a minute? But I feel like we, if we split our efforts, they could be on one of these floors. So me and him will run IR up here in the dark. I heard another thumb, like right here. I felt like something just grabbed my wrist. Did you really? You know like how a little kid will like grab your hand? I kid you not, on my bracelet it felt like something just like did that. And I had it down here, I wouldn't even... That's kind of weird. I got, I got chills. Hey, well, good luck upstairs. Let's do this. Good luck down here. Okay. The first then there were two? Then there were two. Yeah. I get really creepy vibes from over here. You wanna yeah, walk with me? Yeah. Honestly, I get creepy vibes everywhere in here, though. <laughs> Same. But... Did you hear that? I just had an orb. Like, 
something fly right at me. My chest literally never gets tight places, and I feel like I can't breathe. Yeah, there's something. Oh, look behind you. The cat ball just went off. Let's watch that go off. I really feel like I cannot breathe. I do not like it. What's in this room? That's the maintenance room. It's pretty freaky though. There's like so many odd smells in here. Yeah, it smells really bad in here. Yeah, I like something dead. Oh. Men's bathroom. Don't know how a bathroom can be freaky, but this one is. Yeah. There's just something off about all of it. This building in yeah. general. Without seeing... He said structurally up here we should be fine. Dude, I keep hearing something on these steps. It goes up higher. This looks like, so they converted some of these to apartments. I don't feel good up here. Yeah, I'm feeling like crazy. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess we can go up another level. Wait, oh, there's like a kitchen over here. Trash can and sink. Upstairs? Oh Is there someone here with us? Do we turn on the front seat just for the stuff? Nah. It's part of the experience. The fact that we don't have any light when we're doing this is even more insane. <clears throat> this is like the first time I've actually felt like... like Uncomfortable? Like it's scary. Hard to breathe. It could be the stairs we just walked up, but so this is the same as the room below us. Shit! What was that? And I, I just heard something in here. They're like surrounding us. I did not feel good looking at this hallway right here. Come look at this. I can't tell what that is. You it's like something dead. Did you go in any of these rooms down here? Uh -huh. Oh, this is like multiple. Definitely cooler in here. What's through that window? See it? Yeah. What is that? Did we go in there earlier? No. I think it's... There's like a temperature change. Yeah, it's cooler in here for sure. Yeah. It's like right here when you walk in. Oh my gosh, yeah, there is. <laughs> it's weird that it's not in any of the other rooms. I thought this was the exit, but... Yeah, I thought that went to outside. Oh. What the heck? Oh, it smells bad in here. It smells really... I'm picking up a lot of like my body's sensing a lot of EMF. Like I got chills in the back of my neck. Me too. I feel like it's it's dark up here. There's something lurking in the shadows. I hope we can catch something up here. If there's anything up here with us, we're not afraid of you. You're not gonna scare us out of here. Dude, I just heard something loud move from this room. Dude, there's something following us around up here. I don't feel good in here. I don't like this room. Something, something must have happened in here. Or... Is anybody in here with us? Did you hear that? Uh-uh. Something moved. Can you make a loud audible noise? I just had a cold, like, breeze come around my left hand. Guys, to give you an example here, we were watching, walking in the pitch black. Did they used to lock you up here? And that was the only window you could look out? Did you hear that? I'm hearing all kinds of stuff up here. It sounded like something coming out of the room. This is so, like, spooky, dude. Yeah, dude, this is, it's a different ballpark up here, it feels like. Wait, is this the men's side? Yeah. I think so. So it's the same as the women's. I think you said they mirror each other. Wait, there's the piano though. Oh yeah, so we did come in here. I just don't remember it. 
place is like massive. I don't like how big it is because you don't know. Like there could be something anywhere. I don't like these stairs. No, the stairs really freak me out. Is this the way we went down? Oh, yo. What is that? This is not paint. That is not paint. I don't know what that is. Did you hear that? It's like a kid. It was like... <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is trippy though. Yeah, it is. Oh, dude, what the... Okay, what does that go to? You wanna find out? No. The pool, right? How did I not see this? What is this splattered on the stairs? Shine your light. Oh, I thought it was red. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, dude! Oh my god, I just had a heart attack. That was like the loudest door slam of all time. Okay, let's keep moving. Do you hear that? Oh I shit! Heard that. Okay, following your your voice or your noise. Where are you trying to take us? Did something happen in this room? There was like a moan. Notice we're not even stepping on the floor. So it's not anything creaking, we're standing still. Dude, I don't like how long these passageways are. Like, I feel like there's gonna be a head. It just peeps out and looks at us. There's like a really heavy feeling up here. I don't know what it is or what happened here, but... Did we go in the bathroom right here? You know, I get that people like write weird shit when they urban explore, but like... Oh. What is this? What? Because it's not paint. No, I'm literally shaking. I don't, I don't remember seeing this earlier. Uh-uh, I don't either. We didn't come down this way, though. Yeah, but we went into the pool, which was right there. Oh, yeah, we did. Don't touch it. Just making sure. Oh, it's so odd. Yeah, it is really odd. Okay, yeah, let's go back upstairs. <laughs> this is creepy down here. I've never ever felt like this before. I just want to state on camera that there is like weird, I know it's probably just people that were messing around painting stuff, but like all the weird like blood drips, it's like odd because there's no graffiti in here, you know? Yeah. There's like no graffiti and yet there's like weird blood down there and we're to help. Oh, the cowbell's going off. Oh, shit. Huh. Oh, right when we came in, it Literally stopped. Literally, right when we came oh. oh, there it goes again. If you're down there right now, could you step towards that light? The rainbow light? There's a bunch of toys right there. You can play with them if you want. We're coming just to talk to you. And we're coming with peace and love. So if you are a child, you don't need to be afraid of us. If you ever were hurt or harmed, we're not gonna scare you or do anything to hurt you. What was that? What? You didn't hear that knock? Uh-uh. It sounded like it was at the end of that hallway. It's weird how the cat ball stopped going off when we got closer. Can you walk over there? Nothing's gonna hurt you. You can have that teddy bear, it's yours. If you go hug it. Oh. What's that? What is that? That wasn't that. Uh-uh. What the? Oh, maybe it was. 
Well, that's them talking, but I don't know if that knock was him. It's like incredibly quiet in here. Yeah, it's like eerily you know? quiet, yeah. It's too quiet. It, I, it almost feels like maybe it's not like individual people, but like residual energy. Right. But just like all negative. Yeah. It's like something something was happening here that wasn't good. Yeah. But what was it? It's like they're afraid to come talk. How is it so quiet and nothing's happening yet you feel so anxious? Overwhelmingly bad. Overwhelmingly bad, yeah. But there's nothing going off. Huh. Just a vibe. It is just a vibe. I would say this place, um, <laughs> right when I said Right when you're talking about it. Yes, I was about to say it feels evil, like something bad happened. I think that's a different capital. Yeah, I think it is too. Okay, let's head back down. I'm gonna turn the light on just so we can move down a little bit quicker. Yeah, don't look at the light down here. No, there's an eerie, eerie light. I'm waiting for like something to move, man. It feels like it has that kind of energy here. Should we scare him? What's over here? Bro, look at these old snacks. <laughs> Somebody living here? Tuna, pork and beans, white chicken meat. What the f There must be going down. Just scared the shit out of me. Upstairs is dude. Up, upstairs is a different. We had steps coming out of like every room. Like I was hearing like whispers from behind me, footsteps all around me. It's creepy upstairs. All right, guys. So we already investigated the first floor for a while. Nothing too intense, but I will say the energy in here is absolutely heavy, and it's um, it's dark. It feels like there's something here that wants to tell us something. So. We're going to do the spirit talker up here. Pretty soon we're going to do... That was a red pot. That was my f***ing red pot beer. Oh, and the cat hole. Oh, the cat hole's on. If you were a woman here, when the orphanage was here, you can now speak with us. What is that noise, that beeping? That's the red pot beer. Yeah, it's really weird. I've got tinglies on like the left side of my body here. What the fuck is that? It's not, that's it's not, not your grandpa. grandpa. Shh, no, 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 no. Is that the f beer? Wait a minute. What the fuck is that? Stairwell. Yeah. So it looked like something just broke that light. Oh, like something creeping like up the stairwell. Oh. That's the attic portion we were in. It was. Yo, hey, what, cat what? going off. I see the flashing lights. What the f is making that noise? Oh, crazy. Oh, oh. oh shit. You good? Oh my god. All the cat balls are going off now. <laughs> You were over there, bro. Oh shit, two of them now. Oh my god, Colin, you gave me a heart attack. And the dude came out of nowhere, man. <laughs> Jesus. I do not feel good. I'm gonna have to go sit downstairs. Oh, oh. What? Yeah, the dead bird. Yeah, he's. Oh, I really feel like I'm gonna throw up. Really? Yeah, I feel super sick. Like, I feel nauseous. What are you feeling? Nauseous, like I'm gonna throw up. You need to step out? I don't know. I don't look, know look at that. She's talking about that, and then now we got two. There is an energy in these rooms. I'm telling but you. But you gotta think. We walked up here, and we were like, immediately, we got to the second floor on the other side of the house. I'm like, dude, it feels dark on the second floor. And then we went up to the third floor, and then it felt even more dark. But these... 
these would have been where they spent most of their time. Yeah. These rooms. I'm gonna ask a question. Do you guys have the spirit doggers? Yeah. If you are up here with us, can you make a very loud noise? Cat ball. Cat ball. Or move something? Walk towards us through that doorway up the stairs? We just want to know that you are here. We don't need to be afraid. I thought I heard moving over there. I hear a voice. It's like it's coming from outside. No joke, I actually don't feel good. Some need to take a break. Huh? Do you need to take a break? I don't know. Something's getting my nose up here. I think I might be able to poop. <laughs> right here we have a tool, a toy that we're gonna use to try to talk to you. So if you are here with us, can you please try to use your voice as hard as possible and tell us who you are? Can you tell us something about the Odd Fellows organization? I bet you have a lot of secrets that you could tell us. Footsteps. I don't know why I didn't say it. It's really weird. The voice didn't come through, but it said footsteps. Does that speaker need to be turned on? No, it's on. I mean, the noise, other noise just came through. Yeah. Is there something about the Odd Fellows organization that we should be concerned with? Him! Him! That's who we should be concerned of. Him! I wonder if there's like a singular entity here that's over like the entire, you know, because most yes. places you go to, there's that one dude. Yes. And dude. But, but did y'all hear something back there? Cat ball. Cat ball again. Who, who should we? Holy who shit. Who should we be concerned with? Dude, it's so weird how the voice isn't coming through. For, I've never seen that happen. I swear, I see something moving in that stairwell. I told you that light keeps getting broken. That's what I saw earlier. It just happened again. That ball is going off again. Who is him? Who's he? Dude, there's there is some energy in this freaking building. Definitely, man. <laughs> it's not good energy. Did they do dark things here? Were dark things done here? Outdoors. Outdoors. The tree. The tree. Oh, Yo. Crap, dude. I got chills. Dude, did they do dark things here? Outdoors, bro. Hey, the the, okay, okay, the owner, the owner said the worst stuff was outside. Maybe There's like a corn outside. crib. He mentioned the bridge. He mentioned this tree. He said all of the bad stuff was outside. <laughs> Maybe we should go outside. Should we go outside right now? What's outside? I guess let me ask that. Because if the worst stuff happens outdoors, like what's happened out there? Dude, that's freaky. Seriously. Immediately too. And, and it didn't use a voice? Yeah. It came through that time. Yeah. That's weird, that's weird too. Is it safe inside? Edith. Edith. Have you ever seen that name? It says the woman's side of the yeah, yeah this is the woman's side of the, the building remember before we started we heard that voice or that noise right outside the front door yeah like what if they've whether that be through ritual or symbols or something have protected the building yeah but the outside is where all of the bad stuff would be i mean i think we'd have to go outside to find out now, let me ask you before we go what's out there by the tree lillian lillian, lillian. Two women's names in a Coming row. Coming through on the women's ward. I wonder if you can, I know there are records of the names of kids who are here. Lillian and Edith. Can you tell us how? Did you hear that noise? Sound like it was. Oh. What? Wait, shh. None of us are moving. Could you make a noise for us? The woods. The woods!
what? The what, bro? The what? The okay. what? Gonna, I don't know. Yo, how crazy is that dog? And notice how when it says outside, it's like it's almost calling us outside. Cat balls start going off, and it's like we're hearing footsteps walking away from us. Bro, I have. Fuck it's like it's almost like it's bugs. calling I us do. outside. I do. Dude, what are the odds? Like my hair standing up. Like out of four words, two are women's names, and which two were in the are, women's ward. We're in the women's ward, and the and other then, referring to yeah. the woods, outdoors in the woods. I've never gotten either of those. There's those either. Alive. Alive. There's something Is that where you're alive. living? Is the woods? There's something alive in the woods. Or there's someone alive in here. Shut up. <laughs> Did we just hear someone alive that was walking around? Can someone walk over to us? Maybe tap me on the shoulder, pull on my shirt, let me know you're here. Capital. Capital. Something just broke the light. We did it again. Holy shit. I'm like feeling. I'm actually like. I'm, Me too. I feel like I'm gonna puke. I wanna go downstairs. It's, this, this part is bad energy. Really. That's what I was telling earlier. Like. Great. Great. I'm feeling bad. I wanna puke. It's bad. And you're great. Like, great. That's how okay, I was so trying to make you looking at where the light's coming in, something has to be walking in the hallway for it to break the light that we're seeing in the stairwell. Hmm. So something was walking in the hallway that broke the light. What's walking in the hallway? You wanna ask that, Connie? Who's walking in the hallway? I bet they might not be happy that there's three guys standing on the women's side. How do you feel that there's three men standing on the women's side? Right after I asked, like the men, why? So I wonder if it's him, whoever him is. Mm hmm. But we're not afraid of you. What? What is there to be afraid of? Let me ask that question to you. So you said the woods outside communicate. Sounds like that's when we were talking about the dark stuff, but what is the dark stuff? Can you tell us what the dark stuff is? Like, why should we be afraid? Money. Money? I have a feeling whoever was over this place had to be pretty high up in the Oddfellows organization. Definitely. 100%. So, if they were the ones that were doing the rituals, the, the top tier stuff, I mean, they would be him. That would be the guy. Yeah. Well, also, it's like, I'm sure a lot of money was paid to keep people quiet about this place. Well, and not only that, but just the money that this place required to stay open. Literally. There had to be hundreds of thousands of dollars dumped into this. I mean, this was a... Participate. They had the kids working, baking cookies to sell in town to make money. Like, oh, the kids so had to work here. It wasn't just like you come and stay for an orphanage. I mean, it was like a work camp orphanage. Mm -hmm. I really don't feel good up here. Let's walk over here. Fortune. Fortune and money. Fortune and money, dude. So they were using the kids to make money. Cabal. Yo, that's so, dude, this thing's being so accurate tonight. Like, the woods, outdoors, two women's names in a row, fortune and money. Money, participate, fortune. It's almost like they paid. Ruth. Ruth? Another girl's name. Another girl's name in here, Ruth. It's like they almost, People paid money to participate in something that was here and they made a fortune off of these girls. It's possible. Or these kids. And the thing is, like the history that we can find online. Can you hear that? It's not gonna be accurate. I'm not. The history online is going to be what they want to tell us happened oh, yeah. here. Oh yeah. It's not gonna be what actually happened. Were there bad things that happened here? Can you tell us about them? Oh, 
sick in my stomach too. Gosh. Right after I said, I'm feeling something in my stomach. It's creepy, man. There's I really feel like I need to go downstairs. All right. Do you want us to go outside now? You ready for us to go outdoors? Dude, it's almost like dude, they're calling us. It's like whatever's here wants us to find the evidence of something outside. Right after I said something about going outside, evidence. I mean, think about it. Outdoors, the woods. Two girls' names alive, bro. Don't even say it. I already know where you're going. The cemetery. Yes. And no one. The guy that owns the building hasn't even you found the cemetery. Find it, yeah. You can't yes. find it, bro. Outdoors, the woods, Edith, Lillian, alive, communicate, great, but be careful. Money, fortune, Ruth, a lot, push, evidence. Like all that sounds like a cover up. Religious. Religious? This is a Bible school. Bro. Cover ups, too. Right when I said cover up, bro, it's like literally a thumb cracking the case on something. Well, we're the first person they've been able to talk to. Yeah. I mean, they've been oh, dude, holding this have, secret. I feel like really It's like we need weird. to find whatever they want us to find outside. Dude, that's just so relevant. And then the fact that they don't know where the kids are buried here. Literally, I'm like, I really feel like something really bad happened here that they've like, no, no place has clean history. No place, especially like this. Especially when it's been around since the early 1900s. Yes. And it didn't close until 70-ish years later. Well, dude, even the fact that they don't know where the people are buried here shows that there was hardcore neglect. Yeah. Why did they not mark that down? Like, seriously, why did they not sh say, they here's where the cemetery is? They didn't want to be found. That's what I'm saying, bro. What if they're f***ing killed? Drew! Drew! Oh Yo! Bro, that's bro. what it is. Yo, that is so weird, too, man, that, like, literally, if, if kids if kids died here, they would be like burying them properly. It's just the, the, it's what like they just buried them somewhere. Who is looking for these kids? Nobody. No one's gonna be looking for these kids, dude. Do you want us to find your body? Do you want us to find where you're buried? Are you trying to tell us? Gladys. Another name, dude. It's like they're listing off who's buried there. Cap all right when that happened too. I, I, it feels like they want us to find them. Yeah. Oh, dude. they've been forgotten. Are you trying to tell us where you're buried on this property? Begin. Begin, dude. It's almost like saying, let's the go. Search. Let's go, man. Let's go. Outside. All right, come on. So we're downstairs in the orphanage right now. This is uh, like the owner was telling Kalani earlier. This is This is the area where a lot of people from this town have come forward and said that um, they witnessed or they were victims of abuse here. And it's been reported, you know, to a lot of people and it's almost town gossip that this was the area that was almost a torture chamber, is these downstairs portions of the orphanage, the basement. Um, so we're assuming based upon what just happened upstairs that if, if kids were killed, and buried in, in graves that they've never located here on the property. This is where that violent act may have taken place. And if we're gonna be honest here, this is definitely one of the freakiest parts of this entire complex because it's so dark and it feels ominous. It feels evil down here. I don't like how it feels down here. I don't wanna be down here for too long. But if you wanna show where Savannah is right there, this is, the uh, the alleged torture chamber. And it's weird because the bathroom window there has bars on it. So this is, if we actually take a look here, this is where, um, it feels really bad in here. This is where the kids were supposedly taken into this bathroom area and they were subjected to all sorts of horrific abuse of horrific things and potentially like like we said before who knows if someone may have died if, it, if a child lost their life and like I said this this is confirmed by a lot of people who live here that this horrific things happen right here in this space and you can feel it it's heavy in here it's got a very somber feel but 
They've got a REM pod set up here. What is this thing called again? Envoy. They've got an Envoy in here. The bars on the windows. And we're going to do an Estes out here in the hallway in case uh, somebody's still out here. I don't want you to feel afraid of me. I am not here to harm you. None of us are here to harm you. We're here to talk to you. And we genuinely, we care about you. We want to help you find your way back to your family if you've been missing them. So just come out of your room. It's okay to come talk to us. If you speak, I should be able to hear you. So if you don't know what the Estes method is, it basically involves, it involves putting a blindfold on and then using noise canceling headphones um, and you listen to the spirit box and then you guys are gonna ask questions and I'm gonna, you know, list and read off what I hear through the spirit box. So if you are- Did you hear that loud ass thump? What the hell was that? That wasn't you guys? No. no. No one's feet are touching the door either. There was, that was a loud amount of shit. Do you think someone came in? I don't think so. I mean, that was loud. <gasps> That's my stomach. <sighs> okay guys, so ask away. I'm gonna plug this in. Good luck everybody. Is there anyone down here with us tonight? They would like to come forward and speak. Were you hurt down coming. here? Coming. Say coming. Coming. He's late. Is someone late to coming down here to see us? He did this. Was somebody hurt? Him. Was somebody hurt in this bathroom right here? Up there? They were hurt upstairs too? Yep. I keep hearing this. It's really strange. Like a. Like a. Uh, almost like a laugh. Is there anyone That's here? It. Should we be scared down here? Are we in danger? He's watching. Him. Remember him earlier? Yeah. I hate just I that. got cold when I heard that. Oh, I'm getting cold on my neck. You guys gotta watch behind me. It's freezing down here. That's it. Is that is that him coming forward? Is there someone behind Colin? Something just flashed in that room back there. The very end of the hall. Outside. Did you hear that? What was that? Could that be a person? He's sitting, he's sitting, coming. I don't know. Did you hear me? Is there somebody else in the building with us? Yes. <gasps> or yet. Yeah. Is there another living person in the building? Third. Are they on the third floor? Oh, creepy little kid. Please help. How can we the help? The blood. You? Clue. Is the blood on the wall a clue? Were you murdered here? I think I just saw a light. Exactly seven. Were you murdered at seven? I did it. He was the one who murdered somebody. You murdered somebody. Connor! I heard Connor! Dude, look oh. the cap off. Oh, I got chills up. I'm touching it. Touching. Are you touching the cat ball? No, I just, uh, like I guess I just had like chills like shoot up my spine. Like someone's like right behind me. Cold. Dude. Like that. Cold. Are you excited to have somebody here to speak with you for the first time? I feel like a cold up here on my back, like almost in my spinal area. It's really weird. Like okay, guys. Kind of like this. We're doing an Estes session. Oh, and something keeps touching <sighs> Colin as well as Connor. Over there. 
Who's touching us? It's, it's really cold. We're not afraid of him. I'm here. If you, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> we're not afraid of you, whoever you are. Why should be? Look, look, look behind. I'm not afraid of you. Is that door moving? No. <laughs> turn off the light. Mm -hmm. Will you will you show yourself if we turn off the light? I'll turn off the light if you show yourself. Again, a little creepy laugh that goes. <laughs> oh, I just had cold shit at my legs. Right after you said that, the cat ball went off. All up the back of my legs. It's really cold down here right now. Really How cold. many people are down here with us? All. Who's here? The weapon? Oh. Is the weapon you killed someone with down here still? Devil. The devil's the weapon. Grass. Did the devil make you do it? I want to see how strong Be you are. afraid of him. I'm not afraid of him. I want to see how strong you are though. I want you to make something physically move. Lights off. That's the second time it's Oh, happened. now. All right, here, okay. Let's turn the lights off for just a couple minutes. Let's see if something happens. Careful. That's kind of weird, bro. Hold on, hold on. Don't turn the other light off yet. <laughs> All right, we're going to turn off the lights. Good. You got to come make yourself evident to us. Look in the room, almost. Huh. What was that? You hear it? Was that his chair? I don't know. It's like a squeak. All right, we're turning oh, the lights man. off. I feel like there's somebody behind me bro I feel like a like an actual like presence all right make a loud noise or move something down here that's better you like it better with the lights off I'm just a kid are you the kid that's scared are you the same child that hurt but someone he's here oh my god it's the same voice I've got a cold breeze I'm getting a weird feeling to like Say over here, like I'm feeling somebody. Oh, oh I'm getting a feeling something like just. Oh, dude, there's something. Oh, oh, I just heard. Oh, like that, like a f man's voice. Oh, I'm feeling really creepy behind me. Back off. How many people are down here with us? I don't like the 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 something. Why don't you set off some of our equipment? Kind of go out back. Jimmy. Is your name Jimmy? Two. You're back here. Slash. Why don't you show yourself, Jimmy? Dude, it's freezing down here. I don't know if you guys feel that. It's really cold. It's like freezing. Like my upper body is like so so cold, bro. Ugh, rape. Everyone else may be afraid of you, but we're not. They spoke. They spoke up. Why don't you show yourself? I'll follow you. Please do. Is Jimmy the bad I'm man here? Get you. No, you're not. The girl. The boy. They're outside. Who's outside? Is that where all the bodies are? Twelve. Twelve bodies? Oh, little kid. Find us. Or signs us. Like that. Hide and seek. Oh, oh, oh. Little kid. Hide and seek. Like that, bro. You want to play hide and seek? The boat. Took him. The boat. Wait, there is a river by here. There is a river. Where bridge. You Bro, bridge. There's a bridge on the property. 
burn did, this place. Did, wait, okay, there was a fire over at one of the old buildings where they built those two new ones. There was a fire and it burned the whole building down. There's someone here. Are you an odd fellow? Evil. Bro, oh. I'm getting anxiety all of a sudden. Oh. Right after I mention odd fellow, we get evil. Lights off. You want the lights off? Is that when you move? Yep. You move in the darkness? I'm scared. Are you scared of the light? Look at that cat ball. So you're scared of the light, huh? I feel like it's like a kid spirit. I still like it. That's like trapped down here. And it's saying like, no, I'm scared of the light. Oh, I'll f***ing kill I don't know what the f*** would be broadcasting that shit, but that was f***ing scary, bro. I'm feeling cold. Was there someone too. held in this room There's right here? something like scary. Was there someone held in this containment room? I'm getting chills through Thunder. my jacket. Yeah, I am too. Neck. All right, here, I'm gonna pull them out. Maybe, we'll, maybe I'll go under. <clears throat> Will we go upstairs? No. How many people are down here with us? It just felt like there was like a, like a, like a little hand on my back. Get ready. Oh, what, what are we getting ready for? I feel like you're you've come and you're you're here. What are we gonna find? Scratching behind us. Can you come back and talk to me? Getting like a weird like whistling noise. Don't mind me. Yeah, we don't mind you. We want to have a conversation with you. What is there to find here? No. I'm not getting anything anymore. It's quiet now. Dude, it's f I don't, and I also don't feel like... Mm -mm. It's like whatever was down here yes. is now gone. I think we moved back upstairs. I think we go outside now. Oh, yeah. Alright okay, guys, so we came out here to the ritual tree right at around 3 a.m. on purpose. I wanted to come and see if we get any kind of interaction out here. We've kind of been led to this point in the investigation tonight from the voices coming out of the women's war that we were getting through Spirit Talker and a few other devices. They were trying to get us out. You hear that over there? But the tree is right behind me and the owner has told me personally that he's had to run people off the property that were here at this spot around this tree. So there's something about this tree that people are either attracted to, whether it be for rituals or something else. We don't really know the answer to that. We want to see if any of the entities out here can give us a clear answer on why this tree could be a devil tree or a ritualistic tree. So we're going to find out what we can get out here. Okay, so you got the tour earlier. You guys both did. Mm -hmm. So what's the deal with this tree? I mean, we've been talking all night about like so outside. it was kind of weird because what he essentially told me was a couple hot spots. He didn't give us much history or much insight to any of it. It was very mysterious in a way. But he led us over to this tree and said that he's had people standing here almost like talking to the tree, running rituals around this tree. So he doesn't know what it is about this specific tree. But if you take a look at it, there's, it's very unique. There's no other tree on the entire property like it. And something else to note here is this tree is original to the property, whereas a lot of these other trees have come up due to the lack of just field maintenance. So this one has been around through all of the Oddfellow years. So there's something, whether it be ritualistic or satanic or, or demonic, it doesn't matter. This tree is the point of emphasis for a lot of people, and we don't really know why. And I will say, it is a very creepy... Yeah, I've never <laughs> seen a tree, tree like that. And the closer you get, the, the more it kind of looks more and more ominous. I mean, look at this thing, bro. It like looks like a devil tree. Compared to like this tree, this tree, all these trees, this thing is like gnarled. It almost looks like horns up here. Yeah, this part right here. Mm -hmm. If you look at it, it looks like just keeps the thing. Yeah, it's like antlers. And this is the tree where people do rituals. 
special. I don't know what it is about this specific tree, but the fact that it doesn't really fit in with the rest of the Did you hear something? Yeah, I did too. Oh, there he is. We both heard something. Yeah. Maybe, maybe turn on a, a spirit talker. Savannah, hand me yeah. the rim pod. Putting the rim pod up there. No, what the f shit here, man. No. What is that? The speaker. It's fried. I have the never tree? seen this f***ing happen once, bro. We've used this thing a hundred fifty. I gotta film this on this too. Look at this. Yeah, let's see if we can. What is that? Oh! <gasps> I think the speaker's fried. Is it? What the f*** was that? See if you can run Spirit Talker. I don't know what's going on with that. Yeah, that was weird as So we've got the rim pod in the tree. So if something comes around the tree or or on top of the tree right there, we'll pick it up. I feel like there's something watching us. I feel like there's something watching us from inside. Mm -hmm. I think we're getting sandwiched. You told us to come outside and we're more than happy to be here. But can you tell us what happens at this tree? We've heard a lot about this tree in the woods. What's going on here? Do evil things happen around this tree? You were telling us to come out here, and now it's your time to tell us why. When did we get the word of fear? We didn't. Huh. Can you appear? We want to know why you told us to come out here. Annie. Annie. Annie! Another girl's name, dude. What's the third one? It's a fourth, bro. What is that? There's a, there's a cold chill right here. Uh huh. Yeah, there's footsteps. Annie, are right you buried there. out here? Did they do something to you by this tree? Wait, appear, Annie. Almost like it's saying Annie needs to appear, or uh -huh. like appear, Annie. Melissa. Melissa. Name. Girls' names too. Oh my gosh. Dude, I've chills out here what did they do to you guys out here what are you trying to tell us are you buried out here are the graves out here the fact that they've all been female names what are the every out? single one except for what we got jimmy. in the basement, mm -hmm. the basement. Je jimmy were you in love with jimmy or was it a forbidden love suffer <sighs> suffer it's like, it's like hard to suffer. tell what they're trying to say to The red light in that tree right there, if you can touch that red light, I know you can hear my voice. You gotta get close to it. What was that behind you? That was right behind you, Connor. What the heck? Retaliate. Oh. Right after I grabbed this tree. Are you trying to retaliate against me now? What was that? Something else is moving. Is there any wind blowing right there? No. Harriet. Another no, female name. name. What happened to the girls here? Were they killed? Why are you telling us these names? What the heck? I didn't even turn temperature on. No. Is it going off? Right after I mentioned the weird energy of the tree. Mm -hmm. Soon. Soon what? Can you please touch that red light? There's someone like walking around here. It doesn't sound like an animal. No. Uh-uh. It's even like the shit we were hearing up there. It's like we're being stalled on the windows. Yeah. Oh. Right when you said that. There's oh, there's like something right back here. that way. Right back that way, yeah. Are you stalking us? It's, there's, it's like there's things surrounding us. 
Yeah. It's like, it's like it's pissed off the moment. I, I have chills all over my body. Yeah, we're in here again. Yeah, I'm like freaking out. All right, I'm touching your precious tree. Billy. It's just one of the first man names. Billy can be a girl name too. Dude, it's so weird the noises, how they're like. There's all surrounding. Yeah. All around. Because when we were up there, it was coming from the orphanage. And you feel, I feel like I'm being watched. Breath. <gasps> <gasps> oh my gosh. Or Dude, what? Going? I'm telling you, there is stuff all Moving. around us right now. Wait, look at this. It wasn't even that cold. You know, the thing with a lot of devil trees is there's usually a noticeable temperature difference. Close. Right, when you talk about the temperature. <laughs> I swear something just touched my arm. I'm not even kidding. I'm literally not even kidding if I could grab my oh, elbow. In like five, ten degrees colder all of a sudden. Yeah, that's We're what like, I'm saying. There's something for sure just grabbed my arm. There's something like Why surrounding are you touching us. Right yes. now. I'm telling you, dude, I'm hearing noises all around us. I'm getting chills all over my spine. Can I ask you one question? Whoever's here or whatever's here. What is the evil force that's here? Are you a human? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, you didn't touch me? What is that? Can you just tell us who you are or what you are? Did you kill these kids? Did you hurt these kids? I'm serious. What did you do here? Why are you so evil? Knife. Knife. Why are you so evil? Knife. Did you kill someone out here? What if, like what if the ritual that. is required? Some sort of blood or... What knife? happened with the knife? Did someone hurt somebody with a knife? Did... Right after we say that? Wealthy. Money. Yeah. More. Remember when we got to like the fortune? Money. I wonder if they Fortune wonder if they were wealthy game. after killing somebody. Okay, we have to go. If you are one of the victims, can you just tell us what happened to you? How you ended up out here? Or where your body is? If you're a victim, tell us what happened to you. Equipment. Oh. Our equipment's going off? Oh. The heck? I feel like there's a lot of unanswered questions here that's going to take longer than just tonight to figure Definitely. this out. Well, thank you for your time. Yeah, we thank you to everybody. It. We're going to get going now. All right, I'm pausing. Innocent. That's the last word they wanted to leave us with. Innocent? Innocent. They were innocent, whoever they were.